Yo guys, what's up? It's Sunday. It's very cold. So I've got it set up so I can actually do some work. And this, this took a long time to clean out. Uh, it's not as big as the other one, but at least it's somewhere to work. And the good thing is this has got a stone floor. I got given that drill there. So that's helped get on with stuff. I've got this stuff I've saved from the fire. So I have to give that a good clean up and see how that turns out. I've got the drill, the monster drill in here and the welder and obviously the uh, beast engine for the wind turbine. I don't know why I bought CO2 gas when I should have bought the mix, but there you go, it doesn't matter. It does work, I'm not sure long term if this welder's gonna have the uh, minerals to do what we need it to do, but we shall see. The next thing I've got to do on this is trim down these bolts so they're as small as they possibly can be because we've not got a lot of room on the shaft. In hindsight I should have bought a longer one but once we trim the bolts off then we should have uh, enough to fix this. Uh, we've got to drill some plates. With regards as to how I'm going to run this thing I'm actually going to run it has two separate motors rather than one joined together. I think that's going to be the best. I'll uh, explain later on how I'm going to have the control set up with the dump loads. I don't have a controller, but it's going to be all good anyway. Some good news is I've received this lot, which is very good news. Uh, the three meaty bearings, they're 25 mil. Allegedly, although I did have trouble getting them over the 25mm uh, shaft, which is one metre long, so that, that's a beast. You can see the end there, I've slightly taken down to get the stuff to fit over. We've got the two gear cogs that I've drilled, and I haven't yet matched them up to the shaft, so I'm not 100% sure how. In the middle they are but I think they're pretty good. I've got eight of these to firstly to make the blade hub blade hub which is going to be two discs two 300 millimeter discs and then I've got four of these which are 22 mil which which are the right size for this end of the equation and the gears will be connected to the hub to the shaft sorry like this with the appropriate in the center just there so I'll have to make some accommodation for that but as long as the drive gears on the shaft are spaced out correctly we shouldn't have any problems so just a quick recap we've got three of those we've got eight of those with a 25 mil hole to match up to the shaft We've got four of the smaller 22 mil to fit on the generator part. And last but not least, we've got the 25 mil drive shaft and the two gears. So yeah, that gives us something to crack on with. Need uh, The first job really is to weld the gears to these. We've got a bolt there. I'm thinking that might be the easiest way to fix them. I'm probably going to drill a hole all the way through. But I'll decide that when I get going. Should be able to see here, the hole isn't, can you see that up and down movement because the hole isn't perfectly centred. There, look. And it's sitting in there fairly straight. So yeah, that, that's something I will have to sort that out, but I can do that, so that's not a problem. I don't need to get rid of the uh, gear cog. This one presumably will be the same. And the drill I got second hand needs a new chuck. Yeah, that one's the same as well. Yeah, we've got the same thing on the other one. Because it'll move around there. And then it catches there. So we know exactly which bit's out of sync. I'm going to get a Dremel 
I'll just have to hollow out a bit on the side where it's gone over. So yeah, that will be good, but again, I have to wait till I've got a Dremel before I can weld those on. So I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and, because that's such a snug fit, I'm going to remove a bit of the shaft with a grinder until I get it gradually further and further down. There you go, so that's definitely doing the trick. It's not ideal, but... So that should slide down a bit more now. To be honest, I do have some reservations about how the uh, there's going to be two 300 millimeter discs. One approximately here, in here, and one approximately here. And I'm going to have to weld it up good. And I do have some reservations about how good it's going to be, but I'm going to go ahead with the project anyway. So that's basically how, how it'll look. It'll have the blades here. This may be further back here to allow some more collars higher up and that to be welded to the top, to the rear disc. There will be another bearing here, and this will be in between the two. And that will sit underneath, and the gears, which are in no way lined up perfectly on this, will go down and meet up with those by the chain. Now there's still a few things that I'm thinking about is the best way to do, but that's basically how it's going to be. It's still digging through stuff, finding what I've got. I'm still obviously lacking masses of tools, uh, but that situation will improve hopefully. And yeah, so that is not really progress because I've got to adjust these with a Dremel and then they'll be fine. But just to show you a mock-up of, of how it's going to be. And this is as far back as I can go, just to show you. So the blades are going to be on there. And everything will line up there. I'll just come around to the side. You see we've not got a lot of room on the shaft of the generator, but that's going to be fine because I'm going to take the bolts down that you can see sticking out. So yeah, that's the next job. Don't want it to get stuck on. I'll show you that the discs on but the discs will come out here sorry I'm going to use this as an example it's not very good but the discs <clears throat> say the blade disc hub the rear one is there then it would be good to have some kind of arms maybe three arms that join from the outer side of the blade hub to here, to a collar here. Let me just undo the collar. The 
shaft here will have to have holes in it that align with these. And I've probably explained before, but what I think I may drill all the way through. So we'll have a big bolt stopping any movement there, or I may just go with drilling a hole there, five mil deep, and getting a be better quality lock nut. But remember the discs will be attached to these. Actually looks quite cool there, but remember I am using this in place of the discs that I hadn't got just to show you something. So if this is the rear blade disc, then would have something go from maybe here, welded on to the outside of the disc in three places, or maybe four. Uh, and then that could be bolted in as well. So that there'll be various holes drilled in along these. I could even have these gears so I could take them off. So instead of actually being welded to the shaft, there's a hole drilled underneath there where that, that can fit in. And then the only things that are welded will be the gear cog to the collar. You know, it won't be welded. It may end up getting welded to the shaft, but it would be better not to. So, yeah.